and my namesake. There we go, FDFM Garage. So we're going to go try ice fishing again. Right now it's, it's minus. Oh, it was 16 last night and it's minus 10 right now. So I got this. This is a 2021. No, 2022. But it's 2023 right now. He was showbiz bound. And it's been uh, just with the trickle RCA charger Peacock battery thing on there. And it, it comes wired for it right down there. And it's put in for you when you get it. Then Richard's friend, Lord so, Price, told him to send a bill on the Art Roof for special devices in LA. And he told him to send a bill on the Art Roof for special devices in LA. And he told him to send a bill on the Art Roof for special devices in LA. See where I got those eye tags? I they, they burn them off with uh, with frozen oxygen out of a can, like spraying WD-40 on me without the smell. Liquid liquid nitrogen, I guess, and that's supposed to dry up and fall off. Surgery one. Well, in two weeks, I get my leg amputated. So I let this little darn warm up here. bucket here. And this is just to keep all the beer from rattling around. That's just a frosty today. There we go. We're where there was slush all out there. It's two in the afternoon right now. And the fish dark right between you know dark and five and dark. So there's no rush. But yesterday I had a million things to do and I I didn't get out until late, I had to deliver eggs and shit, so I shut the store. You keep the heat in there and the smoke out. That's what I get. This is the apparatus I made here. This out of here. I'll pull it up a bit more so I don't have to look at dogs around so far.
the old, uh, I haven't broke my back trail yet. This would probably be the day to do it, but the pond should be great frozen. I don't know, it's hard to tell when the beaver letting the water out like that. But it should be hard packed enough. The other day it was like turning in mashed potatoes, so I don't know, man. I sure wish I had someone to ride with up here. It'd be so much better with the buddy system. Look at this, we're waiting to big slide off that big chunk of worm. It's gonna, and then now it just showed it would might rain and friggin' snow again some more. So, you know, this winter's toast. You know, you get one good week of safe ice. I don't know, they staked the lake over there, but uh, they don't say it is. It's just a blue line that says unavailable because I don't really want to, even though the lake's good and solid and 12 or 15 inches of ice, it's the friggin' uh, the lake's connected to the land. The land's connected to lakes. It's the land swamps that are so warm that they can't get them to freeze and then people go through in the swamp. And they might only be a few inches or a foot deep, but it's if they get if you're by yourself or with somebody, kids, girls, older people, whatever, they get stuck and then you're a mile, you know, in one and one half an hour on a skidoo trail, 30 mile an hour, whatever it is, in a half an hour at the speed limit of a trail, it's an eight hour of walking to come out. So think about that. You can, you, can, you can go in half an hour at 35 miles an hour, up and down hill and dale where you're on a skidoo, it don't feel like nothing. Then you break down, you gotta walk up those giant big mountain steep hills and all kinds of snow and everything. And you got one leg or no legs or whatever you got. You gotta have people with you, man. It's just fucking stupid. Well, that's why I got those guys that broke down yesterday, I went to help, took them, had to help them out. But uh, they wouldn't let me. I said, I got a toboggan, man. Let's take this toboggan here. It's strong enough that you get the broken down sled, you drive right up beside it with us. Tilt, get a couple of guys to lift the sled over on the side, or you can do it yourself, it's easy. And then you stick that underneath the sled and drop it in there. So the track's in there and your skis are on the other side. Pulls along like it's going by itself on its own. And then and the guys I met, they didn't even know how to take the belt off. You gotta take the belt off. You don't have to take it right off the machine, just unhug it from one of the pulleys. So the track spins freely. And then the one guy on the skidoo was about an 88 skidoo pulling a 78 Arctic Cat. The Arctic Cat broke. And I think it was only the recoil that broke on it. But they didn't know how to start it with a rope or using their feet. So the uh, skidoo blew its clutch up, pulling the Arctic Cat through all the slush and everything. So the only other, I forget what the other two sleds were. I think one was the Flaris and one was uh, the three cylinder uh, Apex Yamaha. And it was the Yamaha that ended up pulling everybody back. <laughs> and of course, he had you know, 19,000 into that sled. And all the rest, they might have had 1,200, like about 200, $400 sleds. They've got other sleds that were there riding. Okay, well, I'm going to shut this off for now. Go and get all the food minnows and auger and everything else. And then uh, we'll come back out. We'll go into that away. And then we'll catch some fishes. Keep your stick in the ice. Made in paint. We're out.